Take it too hard. There's a new study that might make you think twice about drinking diet soda. While it's marketed as being better for you and your heart rather than regular soda, a new study by the American Heart Association found drinking diet can increase the risk of clot-based strokes, heart attacks, and early death in women 50 and older. Here with some advice to keep our hearts healthy is Dr. Anthony Magnano. He's a cardiologist at St. Vincent's Riverside. Thank you so much for taking the time on this Sunday to come in and talk about heart health and soda. A lot of folks will be picking up a can of pop or Coke. What do we call it down here in the South? (laughs) Yeah, something like that. Or diet pop or diet Coke. You know, I thinking back to my childhood, I remember my grandparents and great grandparents, even my parents, always picking up the diet version of the soda, thinking it is healthier for you. Right. Yeah, so, well, it it seems like there are some concerns. And this current study is about the fourth or fifth. Uh, Many of these have concentrated on women. This is more women in the 50 to uh, 70 age group. Um, who were followed longitudinally for about 12 years in this study. Uh, It was a population of 81,000 in the Women's Health Initiative observational study. And they found that about 5% of these, or about 4,000 out of the 80,000, drank two or more um, diet beverages or artificial sweetened beverages per day. My mother, if she's watching. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Uh, And in those people, uh, more so than the people who drank lesser amounts, when you looked at the people who drank more than two versus none, uh, there was a higher rate of stroke, heart attack, and overall mortality. So the stroke and heart attacks rates were about uh, 25-30% higher, and the overall rate of death was about 16% higher. Now again, I'm sure this goes back to our favorite M word, and that is moderation. It it really does. Um, For sure, if you looked at the population, uh, there was definitely a lot of other differences in the group that drank two or more beverages per day, right? So they had more obesity rates, they had higher rates of diabetes, um, there was higher rates of smoking, less activity, more calorie intake. So the groups aren't the same, but then statisticians try to adjust for all those known variables. But there are still some sort of X factors that are hard to adjust for. When we hear the word artificial sweeteners, we often or sometimes think that that could be healthier. Right. So there's, so there's regular sweeteners or sugar-based sweetener, right. sweeteners, and um, they uh, definitely have a couple risks like weight gain is a, a concern or high glucose in diabetics. Uh, so then there have been artificial sweeteners which go all the way back literally to the 1800s when saccharin was first identified. And now there are five FDA-approved artificial sweeteners, um, and we know them by different names like NutraSweet or Sweet and Low or Splenda. Um, and then there's uh, one low-calorie, uh, which is Stevia. And uh, so those sweeteners are what are available, and they've been deemed generally uh, regarded as safe by the FDA. So they've been approved that they don't imminently cause you to get Mm -hmm. cancer, they're not Mm -hmm. direct carcinogens, and so forth, but um, those are the ones that are approved. And then the question is, over long periods of time at high levels, are there other adverse uh, metabolic effects of tasting the sweet but not having uh, Mm. an energy load follow it? Interesting. At least 80% of cardiac events are preventable. That's definitely true. Um, And we would divide the cardiac events we see as those of sort of bad luck or misfortune, Mm. and that definitely happens uh, in people who are really healthy. Um, But about 80% you could attribute to um, lifestyle and other cardiac risk factors that are really controllable. So wrapping up this conversation, from your standpoint as a cardiologist, what would be your recommendations to people going grocery shopping and looking for those deals on diet soda? Lifestyle changes, what are your recommendations? Well, diet soda definitely is a concern because, again, the body is tasting sweet. You have the perception you haven't had calories. Um, There's the likelihood that you might want to eat other things to make up for the fact that you didn't use any calories on your beverage. Uh, It also may stimulate appetite and get us to eat more. And it may increase glucose levels by uh, binding to um, receptors in our body that stimulate insulin secretion. So I would minimize. Minimize. uh, Or or remove altogether if you can. There you uh, go. Artificial sweeteners from your diet. You heard it right here from the doctor. And if you are having heart health issues, seek medical attention immediately. Call 911 if that's an option where you are. That's right. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you, Zach.